death kind. Long live death kind. Is the death pass a gift or a curse? I say both. Either way, being death kind is a privilege and one that shouldn't be taken for granted. I love my job and try to encourage my children to view being a soul seer as volunteer work. The unjudged may be annoying, but they're dead. The least a soul seer can do is wish them good luck at trial. Some soul seers actually do love having the mark. A departed soul seer joined our ranks not too long ago. It was the most amazing thing ever. Dear Lucy was judged positive and requested to be made an angel of death as her reward. Absolutely amazing. I don't think such a thing has ever happened before. All of the angels of death had to vote on it. In the meantime, Lucy wandered around with the neutrals. She wasn't too happy about that. In her mind, her request was totally legitimate and should have been easy. In real time, it took almost a year for every vote to be counted. I voted in favor of her request because, why not? I couldn't think of a single reason why she shouldn't be one of us. She appreciated being death kind, and I admired that. Lucy got her wish, and we all lived happily ever after. If any of my children want to follow in my footsteps, I'll be sure to let them know that it's possible. They would have to be judged positive, though. No negatives, no neutrals, and certainly no pardoned. Gift or curse, reward or punishment, whatever. I'm always among the living, and I'll always say, long live death kind. Live your life as if you'll go to trial tomorrow, and you will be fine. You are guaranteed an extension like the soul seers. You don't have the mark. If you could go to the Hall of Records, what would your story tell? What do you want the conclusion to be? Long live death kind, because death is not the end. It is the beginning of another story. The pen is in your hand.